11.1c, reduce rational expressions, reduce rational expressions. To reduce fractions, we divide by common factors. When we have a rational expression, this means that we must first factor. So in example one, we need to factor this first. So we'll factor the top first. And let's see, only one way of factoring two. Only one way of factoring three, and we're going to be taking the difference. So I'm going to put my three here and one here. We're going to get six minus one, which would give us five. We want a positive five. So my three needs to be positive and my one negative. On our second one, we have only one way of factoring 2x squared. We only have one way of factoring 2. We're going to be adding our factors. So I'm going to put my 2 here. I can't have it in the same box as my other 2. We have 1. We're going to have minuses in both. Now we take out the common factor of 2x minus 1, and that leaves us with an answer of x plus 3 all over x minus 2. Let's look at our second example. I'm noticing that we have perfect squares for both our first and last term, and it looks like we have a perfect square trinomial. A lot of times when we reduce, it's easier to have them written as separate, so we get 3x and a minus 5 for that. And then in the denominator, we have a difference of squares. So I'm going to put my 2 boxes, square root of the first term, plus and minus, square root of the second term, take out the common factors, and we're going to be left with 3x minus 5 all over 3x plus 5. And we are the simplest form possible.